This week, we've been taking a look at what the world might look like after COVID-19. The pandemic has changed brick and mortar retail stores and restaurants drastically. So we're having a conversation on social media today. We're asking, how do you feel now about shopping or dining in person? You can tell us, use the hashtag Mile High Mornings and we'll share on TV. Jennifer Austin with our sister station in Minneapolis talked to business owners about what changes are here to stay and what the future might look like. I wonder if for a long time when we go to dine in at a restaurant, we're going to be seeing plexiglass barriers. Yeah, I think you, you probably will. Cindy Harrison is the owner of three Twin Cities Sawadee Thai restaurants. Pre-pandemic, she estimates her downtown Minneapolis and St. Paul locations were about 35% takeout and delivery. Now, takeout is at 90%. We anticipate that that is going to continue. Of course, we want to have our full dining room open, but we also want to make sure everyone feels safe. Martin Patrick III added women's wear and more casual clothing when sales for tailored men's wear declined. And the in-person customer service they're known for went digital. One of our sales associates had his best month he has ever had and about 40% of his business he did through text message and email and phone calls. Carrie Fryman, director of buying and marketing, says getting customers back in the store once it's safe might take a little more work. There are going to be customers that are not going to come in until like everyone's vaccinated. So we've talked about having like small shopping parties for people. Then there's Urban Rooster Shop. Launched November 2020, the website is a one-stop online shop for small Twin Cities retailers, helping funnel traffic to the local businesses by putting them all in one place. And if we're really going to support local businesses, we have to make it as easy to support them as it is to support Amazon and Target. An idea born out of the pandemic, but its co-founders say the site is here to stay. People have changed their habits though, and they have become Become more digital in how they shop. In Minneapolis, I'm Jennifer Austin. Boy, that is a terrific idea. They should look into something like that here. You can join our social media conversation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let us know how you feel about shopping or dining in person right now. Chelsea says she gets her groceries delivered. I think a lot of people uh, picked that up during the pandemic. She doesn't get anything she can't buy online. Nikki says she's been going to stores since they opened back up.